Last night was the public opening night of Hard to Bay 2010, and organizers are describing it as a confidence start. Noni Edwards reports. In the lead up to the fourth annual Art Dubai Fair, its co founder didn't know what this year's response would be like, given the still subdued art investment climate. As it happens, he needn't have worried. When the fair opened, there were collectors queuing up, waiting to get in. They made a beeline straight for the galleries they wanted to see first. They bought work immediately. Um, you know, there was a, a, a hunger and excitement about last night that we certainly didn't see last year. In the days before last night's public opening, the patrons' preview saw record attendances from high-profile international and regional collectors. And those attendances have translated into healthy sales. One work reportedly sold for more than 200,000 American dollars. Berlin-based Caprice Horn Galleries scored well with opening night buyers, selling these two pieces by Saudi artist Abdul Nasser Garan for an undisclosed price in the range of 15 to 100,000 American dollars. Organizers say the tougher economic times have forced galleries to adapt their approaches. In the art market, and particularly the contemporary art market, it's about what's good. It's about quality. And so galleries have really worked harder. They can't be lazy anymore. They've got to bring the very, very best work. Artists featuring in this year's fair have also adopted creative strategies to appeal to audiences. This video animation was created by a Canadian Iraqi artist in response to his unpleasant experience of being stopped by American airport security. His deep embarrassment stirred the creative juices and resulted in his works on how not to look like a terrorist, including a Fair Skies kit, complete with hair bleach, face whitener and blue contact lenses to be sold in a simulated vending machine. I develop the idea on the plane, I always carry a notebook and I sketch something on how not to look like a terrorist in the eyes of the American airport authority. This was the basic idea. Art Dubai is open to the public at the Medina Jumeirah until Saturday. Noni Edwards, Emirates News.